my channel. <laughs> if you already read the title, you know where we are. We're in DR. <laughs> I've never been here. The only place I've been outside the country is Jamaica, and I want to go back desperately. But it's Boo's birthday, so we're on a little vacation. <laughs> rental car because you know i have a thing like when you're in a foreign country you should have your own transportation you shouldn't have to depend on nobody one because ain't nobody finna kidnap us in nobody's taxi and two you know you have the freedom to go where you want when you want we're at our bnb right now it looks even better than the pictures so i'm so excited to see what inside looks like his friend is supposed to be coming on the third day the plane ride was super smooth I slept the whole time because I barely slept like we were in the hair salon until like what 11 12 11. yeah and then when we got home I had to finish packing <laughs> you put your hand from the camera <laughs> your turn mm -hmm. yeah we was there for you though no we was there for you too let me see the back I like how she did this braid right here. Don't he look handsome, y'all? <laughs> Y'all, I'm low-key scared because I forgot that when you go to like foreign tropical countries and shit like that, that it be all kinds of different kinds of bugs. And I don't do bugs well. But I got my bug slayer. <laughs> Thank you. 
And we got another TV. What is that, like three TVs now? This is our closet. And we got robes, period. to the grocery store because the lady who rented us this B&B, she gave us beautiful instructions on how to get money for here. We need Dominican pesos and we have US dollars, so we have to change that. And y'all know we gotta go to the store. We have to get our soaps and our toothpaste. I wanna go to the pool when I come back to but whatever happens, happens. I was gonna take some footage for y'all in the grocery store. But I just felt like it would have been giving like very much so tourists. And y'all know how even like in Jamaica and stuff, once they know you're not from there, they charge you more, they deal with you differently. I didn't get anything extra either because I was just like, I was over it, honestly. I'm doing a little grocery to get like fruits and snacks and like little stuff that we could eat in the house. I got tea because y'all know. I almost didn't get it because I really don't understand like if the prices are good or bad or whatever. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be here for five days and your girl needs her tea. Plus my nose, my allergies is acting up. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Yesterday, I told y'all I was probably gonna go in the pool and some other stuff and I didn't end up doing none of that. We just ended up chilling because we were so tired because I told y'all we did not sleep. So we ended up watching some Game of Thrones and knocking out. But today, the plan is to go to the beach and then there's like supposed to be like a strip of restaurants on the beach. So I'm finally gonna have my Dominican food today. Right now, I'm making some tea. I got pomegranate tea though because I didn't see mint and I saw green tea. I don't like green tea. I like pomegranate tea. I had it once though. So I was like, I can settle for this. So we're gonna try to eat something. And then the adventure begins. Otherwise, I'm on the phone with my mommy right now. Say hi, mom. <laughs> I was telling her that I feel like we're in Jamaica right now. I was telling my dad too. I feel like we're in Jamaica because the houses look similar, The there's freaking cows and bulls just running around like they own the place, which they probably do. It's so beautiful, it's so hot. It's 27 degrees in New York right now. Is it snowing? No, they said it's snowing in Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, now we now we talking. Walk down, chase down, chunk. Here you go. Okay. You wanna watch this too? Yeah. Y'all, last night, the freaking we thought it was cows. Well I thought it was cows. That was definitely I told you. But you thought it was a cow too. No. Yes, because you, you, you tried to you convinced me it was And you a cow. said that's definitely a cow. You convinced me it was a cow. And I wanted to believe it was a cow. Nah y'all. So last night we were down here trying to make something to eat. And all of a sudden we Why were you like, saying trying to? We were making something to eat. What's the fucking difference? What, what's the difference? We successfully made something to eat. Well, why do you keep saying trying? Anyways, so we were down here making something to eat. All of a sudden, we started hearing some noises. And it was at 
first it was so short that we weren't really like hearing it for real. Every time we noticed that we heard it, it kind of went away. And then it started to get like longer and more. And then we were like, what is that? I thought it was some cows because at first it was like the shortness of it. I was like, the cows is out there mooing. <laughs> but then as we were sitting down and eating, it started to get longer and I, it actually started to sound like somebody was speaking, but it was just like muffled. And they speak Spanish out here, so there's no way we can make out what they were saying. But it was just so weird. We were down here, and we just hear like over like some speaker, like it's some meeting or congregation happening. Hopefully it was church. Yeah, we hope it was church. Here are your waffles, shall we? Thank you. Let's see if this tastes like a meat riddle. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Bro. I didn't know it's like that. Oh my god. You never did like this? No. What? Mm -mm. We must have to do this all the time. Just because they don't put syrup on waffles. No, we put syrup. How do you put syrup on waffle thinner, but not on waffle by itself? No, we put not butter. Oh, wow, okay. Well, why are you sitting that way? This is how I have to check that out. Because we don't love it. Good question. Just saying. Probably. It's the end of the question there. So you thought I was digital on me? Why are you hitting me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ew, is that the yolk? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? You were like, it's running down your nails and shit. You might as well eat raw eggs. You yeah. raw eggs, you know? What the fuck is the difference? It's warm, it's put it in the microwave thing. You can be a real bodybuilder, they eat raw eggs. While we're on this trip celebrating my boo, I thought it would be a great opportunity to share with you guys the things that I've learned about love in a healthy relationship. I've actually unlearned and relearned so many different things that it all will not fit in this video, but I'm gonna try to get out as much as I can. I think one of my favorite and biggest lessons is that love does not require sacrifice, it requires compromise. I prefer to look at it as compromise rather than sacrifice because compromise means that even though it may not be 100% what I want or what he wants, at least whatever we come to makes us both happy. When I was thinking about love as sacrifice, I thought that doing what my partner wanted, even if it made me extremely unhappy, it would be the ultimate sign of love. And it wasn't. Why I thought like that is a story for another day, but I'm so glad that I don't think that way anymore. Next thing, being with him has taught me that if you are the same person you were when you first met your significant other, then you are with the wrong person. Through natural life evolution and through him pouring into me and everything that I'm passionate about, I have become so many different versions of myself and I have yet to become so many more. After being with him for a while, I had to look at something else that measured if I'm in the right place rather than just passion and love and dating. And this was it. When I look at who I am now, I am so much more confident in my abilities. I am so much more passionate. I live so much more for my own happiness and so many other positive changes. So look at your partner. If you are moving backwards, if you are getting bitter, more insecure, all that stuff, you need to go. And if you're self-aware, you most definitely will grow on your own. But look at the growth that is motivated by what that person pours into you. Hey y'all! <laughs> so I did my edges because we're about to take pictures by the pool. Don't they look so cute? I was really skeptical, I, I guess. I told you it was cold. 
about this hairstyle because I don't like my hair braided back at all, like back on my face. But the birthday boy, I asked him which braids he liked and he liked these. So we're going with him. For some reason, he likes my hair braided back like this, but whatever. I don't know what the vision is, but if y'all want to see my pictures, go on Instagram and go see them because I'm pretty sure I posted them by now and they're cute as fuck. So enjoy. This is the scene. And if y'all know, I'm scared as fuck of bugs. And y'all see the little worms at the bottom of this pool? I don't know who's... And in the... You getting in this? That's how I'm trying to think about it. They're probably thirsty. This is the bathing suit though, y'all. It's orange. It's cute. All right, I'm gonna go take these pictures and then after we take these pictures, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, we tried to take pictures yesterday, but oh my God, there's so many butterflies. <laughs> A butterfly. We tried to take pictures yesterday, but it did not work out because it was too cold. And I think the tiredness just got the best of us. So, well, me, at least. Whatever. Ooh, this shit is cold. Y'all are not gonna like this one because I know I definitely did not, especially because I do not like asking for anything. And I like to keep a lot of things that I feel to myself. But I learned that in a healthy relationship, it is okay to voice everything. I used to be extremely afraid of talking about the things that bother me because I didn't want someone to run away from me because I was too needy or I had too many issues. In my current relationship, I feel safe enough to share every little thing that bothers me, but I also have enough respect for my partner that I don't share it in a way that's disrespectful or causes him to get defensive. And now I'm at a place where I love him so much that I don't want to leave anything unsaid because I don't ever want to have the same resentment for him that I have for some people from my past. So I just learned no matter how uncomfortable, no matter how much my pride might want to protect me, no matter how much that inner child might not let the words come out, I have to choose the health of my relationship and the longevity of my relationship over all temporary feelings. This is another one that's not going to make you guys happy. I learned that the kind of relationship that you might be dreaming about based upon the things that you see on social media may not be the kind of relationship that you need. I wanted to be with someone as sacrificial as me, someone who would give up everything as much as I would. But instead, I ended up with someone who taught me that for my life and my purpose in this world and the things that truly make me happy, I can't be that sacrificial. And that someone who truly loves me will teach me the value of loving myself and valuing the things that I want as much as I value them and their love and the things that they want. Yeah. How do how does my face look? My face look welded? Like the sun is in front of me? Or is 
still the guard. I don't know. Sit up on the ledge. Yeah. You see how like you lean over? You guys can see the good vibe. Okay, thank you. You can go back. Yeah, we got an extra house guest. Jiminy Cricket. He's not green though. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Please be careful, babe. Watch that table corner. Put <laughs> that whole body weight. That nigga is dead. I just be one of all y'all motherfuckers over here. You make it sure. <laughs> Thank you. So we are done with the pool pictures and whatnot. Like I said, go on Instagram to see if y'all like my pictures and then like them. Um, but we are about to go to the beach now. Finally, it's like one o'clock. And this is what I'm wearing. It's a little yellow bathing suit and a cover up my mama gave me. Shop me in mama's closets. But anyways, I wanna go on the beach and I wanna like set my intentions and things of that nature. So I'm bringing a little water bag and I'm gonna put my notebook and whatnot in here. Of course, my camera stuff. But I also wanted to show you guys the finishing touch of the outfit because it's my L-O-R-D-A-E. Oh shit, one side is my Lord. It's not on any side. Oh, it is. It's right here. I am a huge Ziera fan. I love the empire that she has built based upon just being a bad bitch and then creating her whole new life over. So I bought these glasses because I was dying to support her and stop like just saying that I support her. So I put some money in, you know, Ziera's pocket. <laughs> I had these for like over three months now and I've just been waiting for a moment to wear them, but I think that today is gonna be the moment to wear them. And I was gonna put on lashes because I do plan to take pictures at the beach too, but my boyfriend doesn't want me to put on lashes to go to the beach, and I just don't want him to make fun of me, so I'm not gonna do it. I just be feeling like lashes add like an extra little bit of like feminine kinda, you know, in there. Like I said, I think it's also coming from the fact that my hair is like this. When I was little, I used to cry because my grandma used to braid my hair back. I used to hate my hair braided backwards because I always thought I looked like a little boy. Like, I don't look pretty. But, whatever. We're just gonna act like I don't feel that way. And we're gonna be confident today without the lashes. And I could always take pictures again with lashes because it's not the last time I'm gonna take pictures and be out the country. What is this man doing? This man is outside flying his drone. I'm gonna put on some sunscreen just for my face because this sun is serious, but I also use this back home. They say that sunscreen is supposed to help clear up hyperpigmentation. I use this sunscreen and moisturizer like mix from Aveeno. It doesn't feel like how sunscreens usually feel like icky and heavy and just bad for your skin like and uncomfortable. And they say not to forget your neck either. So I'm gonna put some on my neck. I'm gonna get Boo some as well because I don't wanna be the only one out here not getting sunburned. Because if he gets sunburned, I'm gonna have to take care of him. Hi. <laughs> Cheese. 
The tree tickled my head. y'all we are now just going to get something to eat by the beach because we went to the beach and it wasn't beaching so we went back home but i just I, I at least want to get some food out of the day and it's a little bit late so we're just gonna you know try to hurry up get something and head back so let's see what they got so i don't get it my food <laughs> This water looks better. For sure. at La, tell me if I pronounce it right, y'all. La Carihuela. Say it. I got a pina colada, y'all. My sister is gonna be mad, but like, where else better to get a pina colada than where I think pina coladas come from? Maybe. His all is virgin, and mine is not. This is probably the best pina colada I've ever had in my life. Y'all heard it here first. Come to DR for your pina coladas. Y'all should have. I should have recorded while I ordered. But what I got, I got tuna tartar, and I got. Um, it's called mofongo de camarones. It's literally just like plantain bowl kind of thing with shrimp in it it's supposed to be mad good it has like a really really good sauce I had a version of it in that actually that restaurant that I went to with my sister when we went on our sister day if you haven't seen that video go back and watch that video because our food was fire but I was like if that is so good there it might be ten times better here I also wanted to get something a little bit different but maybe I'll just leave that for another restaurant or something um boo he got what mozzarella sticks <laughs> he got mozzarella sticks and he got salmon so y'all already know I'm gonna taste everything unless y'all know. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head for? So you should just order what you want. Why should just order what I want? Why can't we share? You just don't have to. Like, you can get anything you want, bro. You want my food. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his mozzarella sticks, y'all. They probably taste mad good. You were just making fun of them, now you. I was making fun of you because you're like one of those kids who get chicken fingers everywhere they go. Not really. I would try shit, but I just have the shit that I like. Exactly. It's an appetizer. What you wanted me to get? This is my tuna tartare. Some fried crickets. That's what you wanted me to get? No. You wanna eat that shit? Nigga. <laughs> Our food is finally here, y'all. I started eating already because I'm fat, but I just it was eating potatoes. My food, I don't know what that is there, but I don't really care because this food looks so good. And these are my potatoes. These are my chips from my tuna tartare. And that's his food, Alfredo and salmon ass. <laughs> Amount of what? Mm. It's not corn. What is that? Is it what is it? It's um, plantain. We just came back from the beach. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's why you look like you feed yourself. Ah! So we're finally back at the house after going to get something to eat. The food was good. I think my drink was a little strong. I had one drink and I feel like it was doing something. But that's it for today, pretty much. Ah! No, come here. You hurt my knee. You have to kiss it now. <laughs> come back. Come. Ven aquí. You're not gonna need me in my face, right? No, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not you. Thank you. Anyways, like I was saying before, it was rudely interrupted. That's it for today. So, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow.